Okay, I've got a scene here, and I want to take a picture, but I've got an older camera. Now, this camera uh, does is all manual. There is no light meter in the camera. The camera will not be able to tell me what the correct exposure is for this scene. So what can I do? Well, one of the things I can do is I can use the Sunny 16 rule. So the Sunny 16 rule means that if there is sun and you're on exposed for that sun in your scene, which this scene does have that, you can set your aperture to 16. So here I can rotate, see the rotate this dial here all the way to 16. So now the dot is lined up there with the 16. Okay. And then my shutter speed. So here's my shutter speed. I just need to rotate this to whatever one over whatever my um, film speed is. So in this camera, you might have 100 speed film, 200 speed film, 400 speed film. I actually have in here, I have 125 speed film. So it's actually perfect. So I can on here, rotate this dial so that 125 is selected. So if I point my camera at the scene and take a picture, I'll expose correctly for those highlights. Now, however, what happens if there is no sun in my scene or it's a little bit different and I, I'm not sure the correct exposure, what do I do? Well, there's another option. So the other option is a light meter. So this will measure light and I can do it in two different ways. The most accurate way, you'll notice there's this sort of bulb here and I can actually turn it, put it in or take it out. This is usually if I'm taking something of something with three dimensions, so a face or something like that, you'll see somebody put this in front of somebody's face and this will measure the light. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I got to make sure is that I've set the ISO to the film speed that I'm using, which is 125th. Now, then what I can do is I can change the aperture here and rotate this and change the aperture. And then when I take a reading, it should give me the, it'll give me a shutter speed. So actually, if I go over there in the sun, it should give me 1 25th of a second. So let's try that out. So you can see 16.1 close and 1 1 25th of a second. So that is the correct reading. So this is very accurate. Using this is really accurate. I'm actually wondering the shade, how much difference is it going to be between the shade and the sun? So I could check that out. Make sure it's in the shade. There we go. So I've got 16.4, so it's half a stop. So I, I could, it's giving me a 15th of a second. So I could say a 25th of a second at F16. So, you know, if I want to round up or round down, you know, it is probably a good three stops difference between the highlights and the shadows. So I need to take that into account when I'm taking this picture. Now there's something else I can do with this. Say I can't go right up to my subject and I can't read that. What I can do is I can switch on the side here. I can switch this so it's now selecting the eyepiece. So what I can do is I look through here and I point, when I look through, there's a little circle and I point that at my subject and I press the button and it'll give me a reading. So let's see what happens if I point it sort of at the, the wall, like right in there at the wall. Let's see what that does. Okay. Now this is kind of what I expected. It's actually 1 25th of a second, 16 and, a, and two thirds of a stop. So why is that higher? Why is it the Sunny 16 not work? Well, that's not it actually. So what the difference is that when I use, remember how I said that using this is more accurate? Well, when I use, when I look through here, it's measuring reflected light. So that wall is really bright. It's, a, it's sort of a cream colored wall. So when I measure the light that's reflecting off of that, sometimes you can get an, a slightly incorrect reading. So reflective light isn't as accurate. So when I look through here, it's not as accurate. If that wall were a black wall, it might be actually a bit darker. So that's something to be aware of. If I want to be accurate, I'm going to use this all the time. Now, does that mean I have to shoot? Let's go back here and let's get my setting. Let's use this one, turn it back.
So does that mean I have to shoot at f16 at 1 25th of a second? No. Say I want to shoot at um, f8, uh, f11. Let's go one stop. So I can rotate the dial. f11, that would say 2 50th of a second. Then f8, 500th of a second. And f5.6 would be a thousandth of a second. So I could choose any one of those. I could also choose a 2000th of a second at f4, 4000 at f2.8 or an 8,000 at F2. However, there is a problem with my camera. The fastest shutter speed that I can select is a thousandth of a second. So I could choose a thousand at F5.6 and get the correct exposure. Let's go in between. Let's go 500th of a second at F8. So here we go. I'm gonna change this to 500th of a second change my aperture to f8 okay so aperture f8 500th of a second i'll frame it up i'll take the picture and it should be correctly exposed so let's give this a shot mm -hmm. 